What's up guys? So as I was browsing Imager, I found this thing that is so weird. It's called, I think, Pix to Pix, and the website is photogenerator.np blah blah blah. <laughs> I'll leave all that information down below. But the idea of this is that you make a drawing and it will turn it into kind of a realistic kind of face. So before we begin, I am not in any way claiming to be an artist. If you're new here, subscribe. This is a little different than what I usually do, but I want to kind of to geekify it to make it kind of characters that we're familiar with, video game and anime, because, because why not? All right, so I'm going to clear this image and I wanted to start with someone fairly easy to recognize. So let's pull up No Face. All right, so No Face is pretty straightforward. I am using my tablet, I have a Wacom tablet, but I, again, I'm not claiming that I'm good at drawing. So let's just get the general shape here first. So I'm gonna do this. Okay, he kind of has like a square-ish, oh, dang it. I'm making, <laughs> I am so massive. <gasps> I massacred him. You know what, let's, let's just roll with the punches. I am not an artist, I am a crafter. I am not an artist, I am a crafter. I am not an artist, I am a crafter. And let's make the little mouth like that. Okay, I feel like I can I erase? Yes, I can erase. I can I can fix I can fix this. I can totally fix it. Okay, so let's make it straighter. You know, the the scary part is I'm using a tablet and I can't even get straight lines. All right, good enough. Ah, uh, I guess that's good enough. Should I have made this all? You know what? Let's just make it all. I just hope they don't turn this into hair. Uh huh. All right, ready? Process. Oh no! You know what? It got the little things. It made it look like tattoo, tattoos. Oh man! It kind of looks like those uh, Russian Russian dolls. I forgot what their name is. Matrushkas? I could be completely off, but yeah. Wow. All right, let's let's clear that. <laughs> So let's do another simple one. I want to do Pikachu because, because why not? I know this is made for human faces, but I'm challenging this program to a whole new level. We are taking this to a whole new level. All right, let's get Pikachu going and I'm gonna do my best. Okay, I'm gonna take my time a little bit more here. Ooh, he got a big jaw. <laughs> okay, let's, let's fix that. Okay, we're getting, yep, 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 yep. Oh, too wide. Yep, Pikachu is not that. He's not that handsome with a big jaw. I think that's a good enough base for now. Get those cute, cute big eyes. <laughs> Why does he look evil? Okay, you know what? We're making an evil Pikachu. All right, so this is an evil Pikachu. He looks so cross-eyed. <laughs> what happened, Pikachu? What happened, buddy? A bit here. Are we ready? Man, I said I would take my time and I so <laughs> I so did. Let's just click on the process button and see what happens. This program is <gasps> what? Oh I have goosebumps! No! It gave him hair right in the middle. Oh no! Oh that is nasty, straight from nightmares. Oh, <gasps> Okay, okay, <laughs> on to the next one. Let's let's clear this. Okay, so the next character going along with creature type things, I want to do Chopper because how can we cover anime without looking at One Piece? So let's do Chopper and I'm not very good, well in general I'm not very good with drawing, but let's, let's, let's work on Chopper. So I'm gonna do first his head shape, which is kind of like a generic, I guess anime head shape. So we're gonna do this first. The cute little ears here. I won't have space for the horn, so I'll make them much smaller than I would normally. So let's just do the little tuft of hair, little tuft right there. Okay, so I'm gonna do the horn here. Let's just get a little creative with that. Okay, so we're gonna do one here. And now we need the eyes, which are just big soikles. They look like they're eyes that have seen some things. So that's pretty good. That's I'm pretty impressed with myself. We're gonna do a little triangle nose. 
And I guess we'll make him frowning kind of like... <laughs> In the picture, why does he look so sad? Okay, I think... Oh, we're missing the eyebrow, so we're gonna do... Little... <laughs> so that's, that's our cute little chopper. Okay, you know what? I'll do part of the neck and shirt. So we'll do this. This is a rough sketch, guys. This... Don't judge me. That's as good as it gets. It's not bad for, for this. So let's process. That's not bad! That is freaky! It turned the antlers into like standing hair and for some reason the space in between kind of became the rest of the ear. But it's not bad. It actually detected the little triangle nose. It even shaded the top of it. And then the clothing kind of just like became a robe. That's... Oh my goodness, this program is weird! <gasps> That's Angel in the back. Okay, I'm liking these. I'm really liking these. Alright, so let's let's clear this. The next person I want to do is Saitama, because One Punch, one punch Man is... Um, his face is already pretty weird, and he's bald, and yeah, I want to I wanna see that. So I'm, I, I chose this kind of look, and I think it would be pretty fun to go with it. So let's just make an egg head first. Okay, that's pretty eggy. All right, so we're gonna add the ear. Let's let's pretend that's good enough. A button, capey thing, with a button, and a huge ass zipper. <laughs> that's pretty big. You know, what, let's just pretend this is good. All right, and we're we're always pretending on this channel. It's all about creativity. Yeah. <laughs> and the other eye in. This this kind. Of, I mean, if you know who Saitama is, you'll know what this is, I guess. And then this. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> Why is the ear so high? We know who it is. Let's see if they know who it is. Ew! Oh, he looks like he took a beating! Oh, he is hero no more! Oh, no. Goosebumps and no. No, 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 no. I think it cat it, it catched. It caught some of the clothing. I mean you could see the button with the strap. And probably if I was better at like making folds and shading and all that. You know what? I'm curious. Let's let's add a little whoops. Let's add a little of that shading on the side of the head. Kinda like he's frustrated that he didn't make it to the grocery store on time. I don't know what that's gonna do. <gasps> it added eyes! And another little face! Did you see that? Look, if you if you look a little closer to the ear, it looked like it added a whole new face there. It added a whole new face. Oh, hell no. Let's clear that. Of course, as a classic, I want to do Goku. As a kid, I used to draw Goku all the time, so I don't really need the reference too much. I just need to make sure that I balance my hair to head ratio. Let's just... I know you're not supposed to start with the hair. I mean, at least that's what I've been always told as a kid. Never start with the hair. I always have to do with the head. And uh... Anyways, that's how I learned how to draw Kid Goku. And I'm probably still drawing it exactly the same way I was drawing it in, in elementary school. You know what? How do I want to do the eyes? Okay, let's do the eyes the classic, the classic way. You can, you can tell that I was drawing this a lot as a kid. I mean, I'm not doing it too... It's justice. Let's let's give him this cute little grin. All right, Goku grin. Yeah. I know this is not a good one, but it's it's probably the most detailed I've done so far. Process. You know what? It got it. Maybe if I color in the hair. Okay. You know what? Let's let me color in the hair. Okay. So the hair is colored in. I'm gonna press process. <gasps> it got him. It got him! I know it didn't make the eyes and the mouth and all that stuff into realistic, but it still got my lines and it made him just with pink flesh. <laughs> so that's actually, I'm pretty happy with that one because I was so scared that it would ruin my childhood. So Goku is good. Okay, so for the final one, I want to do Mario. I know it's a bit longer, so I'm gonna take probably not that much more time, so I'm gonna try to do Mario. I could have probably tried him as a chibi version, but I think we'll go with this version here. So I'm really curious how much detail can we put before the program goes, oh hell no, maybe no, but 
We'll see what happens. This is not bad so far. I know the eyes are a little weird, but I don't think we can... Maybe we can put more detail, but we'll worry about that later. Okay, I definitely erased the eyes. I think... I think I'm pretty satisfied as is. This is not bad. Let's process. And... What is that? It turned the hat into hair! Oh my goodness, what if I just color the hair on the side? Will it detect that as the hair and maybe... And the mustache is there. Let's, let's see this modification. No! He looks like... He looks... He looks like he could be someone from a market in a very old school place. I don't know what I'm even saying. No! What is this? What if I give him eye- oh, I forgot the eyebrows. What if- what if we give him eyebrows? <laughs> no, it's so bad! It looks bad. He looks like he could- <sighs> Looks like a naked mole rat. That's what he looks like. And the hair. That's some really luscious hair. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps. This is not okay. This is not okay. I hope you guys like this video. I just kind of wanted to do it randomly since I saw this program. I'm like, I need to do a cartoon slash video game slash anime version of it. So let me know what you think. If you want me to do it again, do it more, let me know in the comment section below which characters you would like me to try. I did have other ones in mind, kind of like Naruto and Sasuke and, and all that stuff, but kind of took them out because they're kind of old school now. And these are the classic kind of pictures. So yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. <laughs> I'll see you next time.